All right, let's learn about text to vector in Adobe Illustrator. Over here on your properties panel, there is a little thing right here that says text to vector graphic. So right now, let's go ahead and click on type subject prompt. I already put a prompt in here. It's be wearing glasses and green tuxedo, tuxedo sitting at a computer. I'll generate that. I mean, it really did do a good job of what I asked, but I don't like any of the results it gave me. So I can go ahead and I can just keep generating the same thing over again, or I can start changing some of my prompts. So here's my, my new prompt or my new results, I suppose. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't love it. And maybe I'm gonna say, I want a baby bee, because baby bees are cute and I want to change it to an icon because I really want it to be very simple. So I'll generate Vader, v beta there. Um, still ugly, that's okay though. Maybe I'll, I'll try this guy. I'll click and drag, then it becomes the size I want it on my artboard. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. Um, he's okay, I guess. Okay, now I can even pick a style from a reference. So I really want it to, be this style of B. So you can see I put my eyedropper here and now it's selected as my reference. We'll go back to subject. And I'll go I'll go mid middle of the road, generate beta. So I don't love them, but that's okay. It did what I asked. So you can see that these are all vectors, meaning I can grab any part of it and tweak and distort it to make it my own. So that's the beauty of working with text to vector is I can manipulate it myself.